Family and friends of Terry Dalloway have been hoping for closure ever since the 24-year-old was found dead nearly four decades ago in Vernon County. Now, Cooley Region law enforcement are providing more details on her death as well as a suspect in the killing. First News at 9's Dashiell Menzel has the story. I have been provided uh, a significant amount of investigation, investigative reports and other information in relation to this case. Based upon my review of that information, Today I have filed a criminal complaint against Michael R. Pop, charging him with the crime of first degree murder. After almost 40 years, a suspect has been charged in the death of Terry Dalloway. Michael Pop appearing in Vernon County Court Tuesday on a charge of first degree murder. The 60 year old man from Toma is being held in the Vernon County Jail on a $1 million bond. Dalloway was reported missing from her La Crosse County home on February 14, 1985. Her body was found four days later in Vernon County, decapitated and burned. In the decades that followed, multiple agencies from around the state have worked to find her killer. Since 1985, there has been significant efforts made by law enforcement, efforts by the Vernon County Sheriff's Office, the La Crosse County Sheriff's Office, numerous law enforcement partners, to include the Federal Bureau of Investigation, DCI with the Wisconsin Department of Justice, agencies throughout Monroe County, City of Toma, Monroe County Sheriff's Office, and many, many, many others. The criminal complaint says investigators determined Pop knew Dalloway and lived a short distance away from her and her boyfriend. Pop later admitted that he had an affair with Dalloway that started six months before her death. Ultimately, officials say Pop's DNA matched the sample found during Dalloway's autopsy, leading to his arrest. Vernon County Sheriff Roy Torgerson is one of many who is grateful this case may finally have closure. Some may refer to this as a cold case. I fervently disagree. Terry's case has never been cold, but has been very actively pursued over these many years, and today is the culmination of those efforts. Pop faces a potential penalty of life in prison. In Viroqua, Dashamento, First News at 9. Now, Pop also faces stalking, domestic abuse, and drug charges in a separate case in Monroe County.